indefatigable, ambitious on a scale that seems quaint in this day of academic specialization. Mr. Kazin has never been one to bore his readers with detail. He prefers the sprawling canvas, the hard-to-categorize narrative that mingles scholarship and reminiscence, polemic and personal history. Sounds very much the man I met 21 years ago. Here's the man I was 21 years ago. To tell you a little more about him in our original episode one, this recording, in fact its whole series, had been somehow lost from the BBC Sound Archive, so this comes by way of restoring it to its small corner of history. And for that, I thank my late father, who made this recording, seemingly with some care, direct from the Radio 3 transmission. The literary critic and man of letters Alfred Kazin, not Kazin or Kazan, or any of the other variations he says he'd been treated to over the decades, was born in Brownsville, an outer section of Brooklyn, New York, in 1915. His parents were...